week, guys. Doug back again, uh, Recording Connection Audio Institute. Let's take a look at your ebook and walk through some of the basic functionality here uh, to hopefully set you up for success, for studying, for test taking, for everything. It's all here at your fingertips, everything that you'll need. Um, so let's walk through the basic functionality. Uh, we've all, uh, you know, read before. Uh, it's very, very simple. If I want to read, I just read. You know, I can flip pages by hitting either one of these to flip pages. Um, every section or, ch excuse me, chapter is laid out in sections. Uh, so it always starts with an introductory page, goes to... Um, a uh, different sections then uh, culminates with a chapter quiz and a blog entry and there may be an assignment in the later chapters we have a lot of assignments that are um, you know required to do for you so anything that's required for an assignment is downloadable let's walk through the basic basic functionality all of your uh, sections are available to you by clicking this title page here you can navigate to any one of the sections just from that front page. Also, every single chapter has a table of contents, so I can navigate anywhere through the entire book by just hitting table my table of contents over here, and I can make that viewable or unview or, or uh, disappear by uh, hitting this button here. So that is my table of contents. Let's click back to the introduction chapter here. Um, now, you'll notice that uh, there are a lot of YouTube links uh, all of our videos are uh, are streaming directly from YouTube, from our personal YouTube account, or from partners and people that we've uh, uh, you know are affiliated with. Um, so, if to click and make a a what's called a hotspot active, all you have to do is hold it your cursor over that hotspot, and then go ahead and make it active. Uh, everything is viewable directly from uh, the the hotspot itself. Um, so that there are several different types of hotspot. Let's let's cover those uh, very quickly. There are um, the the video hotspots which you have seen. There are also interactive image hotspots which illustrate certain points. There are what's called section review hotspots or quiz hotspots. Um, by clicking that, it brings up a form uh, that we're able to fill out directly and answer the questions to. Um, now, what these were meant for is for studying. Um, so I you know, will randomly click answers here. Once I uh, submit that test, it lets me know that uh, you know what I've got right or what I've gotten wrong, and it's to help me study. These are very, very valuable, especially when we get to do your midterm and your final there. Uh, every section, most sections rather, will have a section review. Okay, um, you know we've incorporated a lot of images that are actually built into the textbook itself. Here's another uh, movie that illustrates a point about frequency. Um, then there are also audio files, samples, right? So audio samples that are embedded directly into your textbook. Now this particular example gives us a hearing test at which we can see where our hearing ends. Uh, most people actually don't hear above 16,000 hertz, but you'll, you'll get into more of that later. So each one of these is playable, and it's a tone that you can listen to. Audio samples. Also, we have interactive, uh, fully HTML widgets that are embedded as well. Uh, this one illustrates how a violin makes sound. Uh, you know, these are all clickable links. You just click, uh, you know, the 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 part of the uh, that you're trying to diagram. And there's some other things that will be interactive for you as well later on in the book. But that is an interactive hotspot. Here's a couple more audio hotspots, a couple more videos. We also have links, hyperlinks that are embedded into, um, you know, these are more audio samples here, more videos. So, uh, you know, if you see something on the screen, just hold your cursor over it. If it is actually a hotspot, it will activate itself and let you know. All of the content uh, lets you know that it's active or if it's just an image, it's just an image. Okay, uh, let's uh, fast forward here to the uh, some some of the cool features of the basic functionality. Now, um, you know, if, if I'm using a, a normal textbook, you know, I, I've got to have uh, my computer open or some other thing open. If I let's say I want to look up a word or or something in that nature, 
Uh, let's just uh, look up this phrase here. Basically, to uh, to to use the full functionality of the ebook, I can actually highlight any phrase, um, and I can search the dictionary. The dictionary gives me, you know, the definition of the of whatever that word is. Um, also, if I, I, I want to remember, say I want to remember something, I can highlight a section of text. Um, you know, if I, you know, my, my mentor tells me this will appear on the test, I can highlight that. That way, when I come back to study later, I know that this is important information. And all of this, again, is just available by highlighting a, a section of test within the, the PDF and then uh, right-clicking. Um, in addition to that, I'm able to create comments. Uh, these comments now will actually stay with the textbook. So if I create a comment about this phrase, okay, this comment actually goes to uh, you know us here. And anybody who comes back over here, we know that there's a comment here. Um, so we can we can hover over this and um, you know there's a comment here. In, now the the comments are universal, so all of the students you know are, are can be commenting on different things on different aspects of, of the, the textbook. Maybe they found out something or there's a link to some other website that has really good information. You know this is the place to put it to help your fellow students and also to to create a community. So the comments feature very very valuable there. Um, uh, in addition to that, let's let's go over our tool menu options here. If I click the hotspot link, what's gonna uh, uh, the hops? Excuse me, the the comment threads link. What this does is this shows me all the comments that are for that particular textbook. Just below that, I have the hotspot link. So all of the hotspots in this particular chapter are available and viewable here. Um, so I can just you know fast forward to that. All of my section reviews are available here as well. My table of contents again here, and then search. If I know, uh, you know, I can search the textbook or the dictionary if I for a specific word. That's also available here. Okay. Um, these uh, uh, tools up here, obviously, this is my pointer allows me to select text. Um, this is, uh, you know, a, a hand that allows me to move uh, things that are on the page. The pen, let's say I want to underline something, pen pencil tool. Now, these are only viewable to me. This is not viewable to anybody else in the textbook. But I can choose different, uh, you know, autumn, if I want to do my own highlighting, you know, I can... A, you know, collect a, a thicker pen, and then I can just highlight one sentence. Uh, I can change the opacity of that pen, so very, very light things, very, very important things here. Um, so a lot more options uh, once clicking on that. If I don't like something I've written, I can uh, erase that by using the Erase tool. And then bookmark. I can bookmark different pages uh, as I see fit. So a lot of ways to study, a lot of ways to get ahead here, a lot of ways to make this really, really accessible and enjoyable experience. You know, the goal in, in, in making this book was to create an experience that goes beyond the common textbook because we're audio engineers, because we, got, we like to use our hands, because we like to learn by doing. You know, we incorporate a lot of different learning methods in, in how to approach this textbook. This is the first step towards your career, so definitely take this serious. And remember, there's a lot, a lot of information here. Um, it's no telling what you'll be tested on. Okay, uh, the last thing that we're going to cover would be your testing and your blog entry. For every single chapter, you will have a chapter test or chapter quiz. Okay, so the way that this works is you are, uh, you know, it's just like any other hotspot. You can click it, and then you're asked to log in to your student portal. Okay, you're given that student portal login information after, uh, right around the time you did your uh, enrollment. Um, so you, you, if you don't have that information, obviously you wanna make sure you get that from your student services representative. Uh, but uh, you go ahead and enter your student services login information. And then once you log in, you're able to go to, um, your your testing area so and the quiz actually comes up so you would go through here now these answers you will not be given 
and a lot of them, I will tell you, are drawn from some information that is on the uh, the section reviews in the chapters. Uh, but there's also separate information. Um, nothing that you're you're uh, required to study a third party. You would, this would all be information that you're given inside your textbook or inside videos or things like that. Uh, be sure to hit the print button at the bottom of the page to print that out. It's very, very important. You need to print out a copy of this test uh, and bring it to your mentor. Okay, The mentor needs to uh, go physically go over that test with you. So make sure that you bring a copy of this test every single time you go to the session. After we finished our test, we can go over here to our blog entry. Um, now, the blog entry is meant to be done after your sessions right, for that week. Um, but basically, the way this works is you want to document everything that happens. You want to keep a, a, a record of how you've evolved in this industry because it's going to do a lot of different things for us. It's going to help us when it comes time to build a resume for you. We can see what gear that you've worked on. We can see um, you know, what artists you've worked with. All of these types of things are going to be hugely valuable when creating your resume. So make sure you include all that information. But guess what? It doesn't just have to be print. Yes, you're able to print here. Um, but... We also have YouTube links. You can upload videos. You can upload, um, um, you know, attachments, anything like that. So there's a lot of different opportunities here, and and this is also viewable to to you know other students. And you guys can create a community there, and create cap collaborations, meet people, get out there. Um, so blog entry, very, very valuable tool that we take advantage of, and there's one for each chapter. Make sure that you fill it out. It's very, very important. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to, to let us know ways that we can improve things that you've noticed. Uh, we're constantly you know, looking for opportunities to do that. Um, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call the number that's on your screen right now. And, you know, happy textbooking.